Hi, my name is Cathy Millett, and this week we're looking at AK Interactive Trains Undercarriage Set. This week we're looking at photos of what goes underneath, and there's definitely a lot of dirt that's thrown up onto trucks and undercarriages, and some of it's dirt, some of it's rust, some of it's actual oil where they've greased things. So it's worth taking quite a bit of time to look at the photos and see what you see. So last week we looked at the trains, locomotive and wagon weathering set for Mako Interactive. And this week we're looking at the trains undercarriage set. And it's easy enough to use them to get your trucks and sort of bottoms of your boxcars, wagons, whatever, to look weathered. And the aim of this is to weather them down. It's a weathering set. So it's AK7010 and it's got light rust wash. I'm saying that very fast. Light rust wash in the trusty holder straight away. Light dust deposit and then, oops, axle and or shafts and bearing grease. Well, I'm gonna use it on these trucks here just to show you how it can be done. And I did this side yesterday, day before, just to see what they look like. And we're gonna do the same on this side. So it's very simple. You take a, the light dust deposits, give them a good shake. And the aim of these is that they're sort of a um, brownish, greeny, this is quite pale, it's a dusty color. And um, I should say, as my little opening preamble, that I'm putting these straight on without any dull coat, anything else on. And what I find with these enamels is you don't necessarily need to do anything else on first. And I do like them as a sort of coat, and I will never dull coat first um, because I want them to flow. So in this instance, I'm just gonna put it in with a fairly fine brush and just spread it all over my trucks. The only reason I'm doing a fairly fine brush is because um, I don't wanna get it all over the bottom of my wheels. And I'm gonna just put it into my wheels as well. There we go. Now these are enamels, so they um, they will lift with the same sort of solvents as we used on the side of this box car last week for streaking grimes. And so if you want to use them like I'm about to do now and put a little bit along the bottom, just bear that in mind. Um, along the bottom here, I'm just going to put a little bead of this to just sit into these areas. And then the last thing I'm gonna do on the wet side is use the light rust deposits. Now, I find these a little bit bright, if I'm honest, for a lot of things. I mean, they're, they're good on perhaps couplers, but they're quite light, really, and my rust is normally a little bit darker than this. So having this product set made me try something that perhaps I wouldn't normally do, which I guess is the point of having product sets like this, is to just try new products. So what I did do was I put it into my wheels because they're the bit that's going to probably get the most um, sort of rust colour. So I added just a bit of variety in there. Uh, I did put it in when it was just wet. I do have this nasty habit of liking to get on and do things and do multiple colours at once. So I just put it through. It's taken a while to dry. And then I did put just a little bit around in some of these areas just for a bit of variety. Okay. Then you can use it for other spots where things may have caught a little bit of rust. So I'm, oops, it's not unusual for some of these things to perhaps court. I 
but only metal things. Remember, this is rust. So I'm going to leave this on its side so that it dries with everything flat um, and those don't run out the wheels. So this is more or less dried now. Um, it's been an hour or two, it's been quite quick. But what I need to do is take the, um, this is the bearings or shafts and bearings grease. Now it's basically, if I'm honest, a bit of a shiny varnish. It's a weathering effect by UK Interactive. And all it really does is add a little bit of black. There's, there's a little bit of black pigment and a bit of varnishy effect. And you can just brush it onto some of the places that may have had oil on them, just to give a little bit of um, a different texture. So there we go, just onto these areas that may be sort of oiled. There we go. Yeah, it's as simple as that. And by the magic of television, if I turn it over, you can see what I did last time, and it just adds a little bit of shine to these areas. So of the three packs that I've, I'm looking at, I think this is the weakest, because although it, it is a great set of colours, they're not quite enough. I think you do need to put another coat of an under colour on first, and that's fine, because realistically weathering isn't just one coat, and these are probably the finishing top coats. Um, rather than the base coats. So useful packs. The light dust is a little bit light for me and you can see how much it stands out on the reefer car. It's not really a colour I use and I think it would have looked a lot better if I'd airbrushed it rather than painted it on. But all in all, still three products you could use and the grease is very useful for oil spills or anything else. So it could be used anywhere else. But um, if I was going to buy one of the three packs I'm looking at from AK Interactive, this would probably be the third in order. So this week's Day in the Life of the Mini Kathy show, they're insistent it's a show, um, we're talking to HO Scale Kathy. So, HO Scale Kathy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you, Big Kathy. It's great to be here. So, I'm HO Scale Kathy, and I'm, um, well, I'm the quieter one of the lot. I know it's hard to believe that any of the Mini Kathys are quiet, but generally I am. I like to think of myself as the thoughtful one that um, you know thinks through why we do things and perhaps looks for better ways. I also like to be able to um, I really help Kathy with her modelling, Big Kathy, because you know I have the right scale eyes. So quite often she'll do something and it looks a bit splodgy, and I'll go too splodgy, too splodgy, looks awful. Come on, more layers, fire, tone it down a bit. So I'm the quiet one and I just give some reasonable, constructive feedback to her on her modelling. Well, that's all we've got time for from HO Scale Kathy, but wasn't that fascinating? And um, tune back next week for the next gripping instalment in A Day in the Life with the Mini Cathys.